hundred or five million, we're gonna play the same for you. Like, because we love you and we wanna play, you know, the best that we can. But there should be more people listening and supporting, you know, these amazing musicians that you're listening on stage. So let's hear one more round of applause for this band. And for all the students that perform this evening. Now I'm gonna give you one little um, tip. When, you know, my mentor in life is a gentleman named Clark Terry. He's one of the greatest of all time. You know, he just passed away. There's actually a fabulous movie about Clark Terry called Keep On Keeping On. If you see it on Netflix or Amazon Prime, one of those, it's, it's one of the, I, if I was Bill Gates, I would give it to every music school and high school and middle school and elementary school and have the students watch it because um, Clark, at the age of 94, was mentoring uh, young students, including um, a pianist who happens to have lost his sight but made it as a finalist in the Thelonious Monk competition. It's an amazingly riveting story. But Clark always told me, he said, whenever you hear a brass player giving a long, you know, impassioned speech, it's because he's trying to get the blood back in his lip for the last song of the night. <laughs> Just so you know, that's another little lesson for the brass players. Because I was trying to, you know, because I'm smart too, because I know they need the blood back as much as I do. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna finish off with an arrangement of mine, and it's a great um, song. We know it's a great song because it's written by George Gershwin. And it comes from Porgy and Bess. And a few years ago, well actually, no, more than a few, um, in the mid-90s, I was playing with Joe Henderson and we recorded um, a version of uh, George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess. And you know, it was interesting because they couldn't find anyone to sing. So they, they called Sting. And Sting sings on the record, and then they and he was Porgy, and Bess is Chaka Khan. So if you get that record, it's pretty. It's a pretty interesting record, and I'm actually joking because you know they couldn't find anyone, so they had to get Sting and Chaka Khan to be the uh, special guests, you know. And uh, so this actually at the time Sting sings this on the record, but we do a different arrangement, and then I came up with the idea to turn it into a jazz waltz, and so this is Ger George Gershwin. And uh, it's my arrangement of it ain't necessarily so.
Minnesota. You don't get to hear this kind of stuff every day. Can we please give Conrad Herbert one more round of applause? <laughs> now it's true that you can't hear a live performance like this every day in Southwest Minnesota, but if you're interested, you can listen to recordings every day. And uh, Conrad had, as I mentioned before, Conrad has a lot of different recordings out, and he has two new ones, one of which was nominated for a Grammy this year, and he does have some copies available if anyone would like to purchase one. Uh, we'll have a couple students who are going to leave right now. Yeah, there they go. And uh, they'll be waiting out here in the hallway outside the exit if you're interested. They're $15 a piece, um, you know, hours and hours and years and years of great listening. Uh, I hope you'll think about picking one up. And uh, we hope that you'll join us again next Monday, a week from now over at the high school, All City Jazz. You'll also get to hear the middle school jazz ensembles play. These guys will be playing, they'll play some different stuff so they don't, don't hear the exact same thing over and over again. Uh, but we hope that you'll, you'll join us for that as well. Thank you again for coming. Have a safe drive home.